Hello friends, today we shall discuss about the sexual reproduction in animals. What is this sexual reproduction? It is the fusion of the male and the female gametes to form a diploid zygote. The zygote develops into a new organism or an individual. The sexual reproduction produces individuals with genetic variation. When we consider about the sexual reproduction, which is seen in animals, there are two types. One is called syngamy, the other one is called conjugation. Now what is a syngamy? The fusion of two haploid gametes that takes place to result in the formation of a diploid zygote. Depending upon the place of fertilization, there are two types. One is called internal fertilization, the other one is called external fertilization. What is this external fertilization and internal fertilization? The fusion of the male and the female gametes, which takes place outside the female organism, for example, in the water medium, as it occurs in sponges, fishes, and amphibians. This type of fertilization is called external fertilization. Then what is this internal fertilization? The fusion of the male and the female gametes that occurs within the body of the female organism. This is called internal fertilization. This commonly occurs in reptiles, apes and mammals. Now coming to syngamy, there are different types of syngamy. Autogamy, exogamy, hologamy, pedogamy, mirogamy, isogamy and anisogamy. We will discuss each one in detail. What is this autogamy? Where can we see this? Here the male and the female gametes are produced by the same cell or the same organism. Both the gametes fuse to form a zygote. Example of this autogamy is paramecium and actinosphidium. Now going to the exogamy, here the male and the female gametes are produced by different parents. The male parent and the female parent and they fuse to form a zygote. Hence, in exogamy, it is biparent. Example is humans or dioecious or unisexual animals. Now what is the hologamy? Hologamy is seen in lower organisms where the entire mature organism do not form the gametes but they themselves behave like gametes and the fusion of such mature individuals results in the formation of a new individual. This is called hologamy. This occurs in trichonympha. Now what is pedogamy? Here the sexual union of the young individuals that are produced from the parents by the division of the adult parents by simple mitosis. Example Actinophrys, Actinospiridium, Paramecium and Aurelia. Now what is Mirogamy? Here Miro means small. The small sized gametes which are morphologically different. This takes place in Copromonas. Now what is Isogamy? Here Iso means same. The physiological and morphologically identical gametes. They fuse to form the zygote. Example is monocystis. What is anisogamy? Aniso means different. Here, an means without, iso means equal, gam means marriage, where the gametes are unequal, morphologically and physiologically. Here, the fertilization takes place 
Particular examples are higher invertebrates and all vertebrates. Now let us move on to conjugation. What is this conjugation? Here there is temporary union of the two individuals of the same species. There is exchange of genetic material where one cell acts as the male, the other cell acts as the female. And because of the exchange of the genetic material, a new individual is formed and after conjugation they separate. The separation occurs after conjugation and the individuals that take part in conjugation are called conjugants. This commonly occurs in cilia. The cilia between the individuals acts as the conjugation tube. Example is paramecium, vorticella and prokaryotes like bacteria. Now let us see what are the different phases of a life cycle. Organisms have three phases of life cycle. One is called juvenile phase or the vegetative phase. The other one is called the reproductive phase or the maturity phase. And the third is called the senescent phase. So what happens in different types of phases? In the juvenile phase, it is the period of the growth phase. Between the birth to the individual becomes reproductively active. What is this reproductive phase or maturity phase? Here, the organisms reproduce and produce their offsprings and these offsprings reaches the maturity period. So based on the breeding, there are two types of breeding. One is called the seasonal breeders, the other one is called the continuous breeders. What are these seasonal breeders? These seasonal breeders reproduce only during the particular, particular period of a year. Example like frogs that breed during the rainy season, lizards, birds, deers. No, continuous breeders. Here, these individuals continuously breed throughout the sexual maturity. Example is honeybees, poultry, rabbit, etc. What is the senescent phase? This phase begins after the reproductive phase. Here, the individual undergoes degenerative changes in the structure as well as the functioning of the body. Now let us move on to a different type of reproduction called parthenogenesis. What is this parthenogenesis? It's a Greek word. Parthos means virgin. Genesis means to produce. The definition is development of a young into a complete individual without fertilization. This was first discovered by Charles Bonnet in 1745. There are two types of parthenogenesis. One is called natural parthenogenesis, the other one is called artificial parthenogenesis. Now what is this natural parthenogenesis? Here, this parthenogenesis occurs continuously and naturally in a life cycle. There are two types of natural parthenogenesis. One is called complete, the other one is called incomplete. Now what is this complete parthenogenesis? Here, the only form of reproduction that is seen in certain animals. There is no biparental sexual reproduction. No male organisms and so such individuals are represented only by females. So there are no male population. Now what is this incomplete parthenogenesis? Here, this is found in some animals where Sexual reproduction occurs as well as parthenogenesis occurs. Example is honeybees. Fertilized eggs or the zygotes, they develop into the queens and the workers, whereas the unfertilized eggs develop into the drones or the males. 
Now, coming to the incomplete parthenogenesis, there is another type called phylogenetic parthenogenesis. Here, the larvae produce a new generation of larvae by parthenogenesis. It occurs in the sporocysts of radial lava and also in liver fluke. The larvae of some insects like gall fly. Now, there are so many other types of uh, natural pathogenesis which I want to mention here. One is called Arinotoki. What is this Arinotoki? In this type, only the male population is produced. Example, honeybees. Now, what is this Teletoki? In this type, only the female population is produced. Example, Solinogia. What is this Amphitoki? Amphitoki is a type of parthenogenetic process in which the egg can develop into any type of individual, male or female. Example, aphis. What is this artificial parthenogenesis? We have already seen about the natural parthenogenesis. Now, what is this artificial parthenogenesis? Here, the unfertilized egg is induced it is stimulated to produce a new complete individual by physical or chemical stimuli. Example of this is analyte and sea urchin eggs. So that's all for today friends about sexual reproduction in animals. Log on to www.readmedprepacademy.com Kindly sub subscribe to our channel Read Med Prep Academy in YouTube. Thank you friends. Bye bye.